Gerald Benfield, welcome to Wayne Football Club. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Um, when the opportunity arose, was it a no-brainer for you to come and step up a level from Salisbury last season? I mean, I understand you had a few injury problems, um, but yeah. the, the lure of coming to Weymouth, was that was that something that excited you? Yeah, last year was real frustrating for me because obviously I got in at Salisbury, did a right, I had a few games and then got injured straight away and then um, got back into another run of games. And again, another injury set me back a few, well, I was like for about 12 weeks. Um, so it's good to get back in again at the end of the season. Um, and then obviously I had a long break, so coming into Weymouth was definitely a no-brainer for me, I think, because obviously the people around the, the club, Mark Molesley himself, Robbie's a massive part of my decision to come over because obviously the goalkeeping coach and side of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a no-brainer for me um, in terms of every aspect of, the, of what you look at it. Um, <clears throat> just looking forward to getting going now, mate, because to be fair, I've had a long, long time out and I've been training with Robbie recently, but I'm just ready to get, get going and wherever I am, if I'm here or if I'm out alone or whatever, just be good to get going with the club. Have you been keeping your eye on the playoff situation? Because there's I mean, an iron on whether the new players uh, can, can start them games. Has it been something that obviously now you're away with playing, you've been keeping an eye on? Yeah, definitely. I'm, look, I'm, I'm having a look at it. Obviously, I want to be around the, the boys and stuff when it's going on. Because um, I've met the boys in the training session, but it'd be good to you know be, be around them as the, the playoffs are going off. But um, yeah, whatever happens with the playoffs, if I'm here watching, um, if I'm playing or whatever, it'd be, be really good to be around it. So I'm looking forward to that definitely. Absolutely. You also spent a long time at Wimborne, one of our sort of neighbour clubs. Um, what was your time like there? Because you were very popular amongst their fans. Yeah, my time at Wimborne was brilliant. To be fair, it was, it was a good good club for me to be at. Coming out of uh, Hamworthy and going it was a really good stepping stone for me. Um, I had a good three seasons there, um, got player of the year, uh, players player and stuff like that the last season, so it was a good time for me to move on, I think. Um, I think I needed a club like Salisbury, I thought um, it would have been a good stepping stone, but obviously the injury set me back, so it was it, it was good and it was bad in certain ways, but yeah, Wimborne was a great club for me, it's it where I sort of made my name in non-league football really, like, got bigger clubs like Weymouth interested in Salisbury, so... It was, Wimborne was brilliant for me. I left at the right time, joined at the right time, I think, in my opinion. And you just had a photo with the number one jersey there, yeah. the Weymouth jersey. How, how excited now are you about getting back where it's safe to do so? Yeah, as soon as we can get going, I'm really buzzing for it. It was really good, obviously, being in with the lads training the other day. Um, Goalkeeper training Robbie, um, and obviously just been out with Mark looking at the pitch and stuff. So it's all good. It's becoming a bit more a bit more real now, and I'm just waiting for that, you know, final, well, well not final whistle. First whistle to go, and we can get out and get started. But... I don't know what, like, say where I'll be if I'm here, if I'm out on loan, whatever. It'd just be good to be involved with the bo with the boys, really. Absolutely, uh, Gerald. Thank you very much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in the way of shit. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Cheers,